You know what this world needs? Another whiskey channel. And you know what? Foolishly, like a dummy, I'm here to provide just what we really don't need. Welcome to Drams for Dummies. What's going to follow here is a long introduction about what I'm doing and why we're doing it. So if you're so inclined and you're so interested, pour yourself a dram and check out a little of what the heck this channel is going to be all about. That's part one. And then in part two, you'll actually get to see me drink something and talk about it and show you and prove to you I am a dummy, like most of us are. So hopefully you get something out of this channel, you enjoy it, and if you do, just stay with us for this ride. Subscribe and follow and all those things. Love you guys. See you on the other side. Well, how the hell are you? <laughs> so this is a, <clears throat> this would be like a pilot episode of Drams for Dummies. So here's the backstory. First of all, you got to know about me. I talk a lot. And uh, so these videos will be probably highly edited except because the whole idea is that they'll just be raw and real and typically have a guest with me. Um, so we're just going to talk and we're going to drink and we're going to do blinds and we're just not going to take ourselves too seriously and have and be too formatted and too rehearsed, which is kind of my style. Not the most effective way to do anything, of course, but um, I think <clears throat> more than anything, I think that there's so many of us that are into bourbon a lot. We're getting into it. We're trying to figure it out. And we look out and we see all these different channels and I, there are so many great ones and they're doing it at a level, you know, um, ADHD whiskey and Matt Porter is, is the goat. And he was the one that kind of got me m probably more, uh, connected to the bourbon world and more educated in the bourbon world. And I just loved his, his, his shtick and I love his, his expertise. And so he is you know, I'm a Patreon and, uh, he's a, he's a, a big part of my bourbon world. And then through him, you know, you get, you know, bourbon junkies and mash and drum and stuff and whiskey. And I'm just, you know, there's so, 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 so many and names that, uh, you know, that, that are, that are huge in the, in the world that come into that sort of bourbon, um, channel sphere and that Matt brings together, whether it's through Matt Madness or different things. So anyway, digressing. So I sit here and I do blinds all the time and I score them and I talk to myself and I say talk out loud a lot. I don't know why. Pretending I have a camera and you know some of my buddies um, who have been over and had some of the good stuff and or we've shared some some pours and some blinds you know one of them in particular uh justin said you know you ought to do a channel and i said why in the hell would i do a channel there are so many channels and most of them aren't that good and there are enough really good ones that i don't have anything to say that that isn't already being said um t 20 times over probably um but then it kind of just i sort of simmered on it and i just sort of realized that the channel i would do is a little is different than than what most people would do or are, are doing right now so you know my idea for this channel is to have a channel and it's called drams for dummies for a reason i am a dummy i am um i've not won any awards uh i'm probably the eight thousandth and four hundred and twenty second ranked uh whiskey taster in the kansas city metropolitan area that's just on my own uh, making up stats like like dudes like to do. Um, so I have no training. Uh, my wife bought me, and sometime it may, may might make a uh, an episode, uh, one of those smelling uh, kits for Christmas, which is awesome. But it's like homework, right? So you have to like really sit down and work on the craft. And I'm lazy, and I'm a procrastinator, and I'm just like ah, whatever, it's fine. And you just realize that what the level that some people are doing things at, they've achieved that legitimately and that they just have that palate that knows that that training that understanding and they work at it and i think that i'm a lot like 
the majority of bourbon drinkers in that we get the concept, we know what we like. Um, you know, in, in, in my case, I'd love to do blinds. I love to score them on my own weird system, whatever. I've got my top shelf. I've got all these different things that I do. Um, but I don't, I don't know all the, I, I, I can't pull out all the tasting notes. I, I can pull out general things, things that just mean something to me. And, you know, I think that's okay. You know, I, I think that to, to, be in this world and just love it and just kind of like either hunting down bottles or uh, sharing things with friends, um, I think, and, and enjoying it in whatever way you want to enjoy it. And sometimes I think that, you know, watching the polished pros, you kind of feel like, I'm not, I don't see, I don't smell that. I don't taste that. I don't understand it. How can they, how can they smell this and say, that's for sure Buffalo Trace. And oh, that's got, that's peanuts all over the place. That's beam. And that's, you know, that's, oh, that's got that funk. That's Dickel. Like how, how do they do that? And they do it through just hundreds and thousands of and millions and whatever of tastings and, and attempts. So I'm like most of you, I really like it. I've probably spent too much money on it. Um, I've for sure spent too much money on it. I've gone pretty far down the rabbit hole. I'm trying to kind of come back to, a, I'm kind of finding my level of like, okay, here's what I do and don't do, or here's what I do and don't like, here's what I will and won't spend. Um, so I feel like I've kind of gotten my arms around the, the insanity a little bit. So I feel like I can contribute to your journey something because I'm just this regular guy and you know, I, I want, and I want the channel to reflect that. I'm literally shooting this in my house. Um, the plan is to always shoot it in my house because, for lots of reasons, because this is where I do, this is where I drink my bourbon, right? This is my spot. This is where I do my tastings. So why not just put a camera in front of it and be like, this is me. This is me doing tastings. This is me scoring tastings. Um, and so that's what we're going to do. And like I said, I'm not going to worry about, I'm not trying to be a pro. So um, my goal is just to put out interesting conversations and interesting tastings and let you pull out of it what you will. And hopefully it's entertaining. You know, it's a place where I'll probably try to, I'll probably let my personality out, you know, more and more and more. And then that's going to, I might scare a few folks. But anyway, I won't read the comments, so it's fine. Um, but... You know, when I talk about my top shelf, I want to be able to show you that it's like literally this little pantry that we built into our tiny house and because we had no place for food and now whatever, 40% of it is, is bourbon because it's the two shelves are stacked, you know, and so that's off. That's also my limiter. Like I don't have shelves and shelves and shelves and, and money to just put a wall of bourbon behind me and, and maybe have multiple walls and multiple vaults of bourbon. I literally, everything I own is in that cabinet and it's however many bottles I can get on two shelves, you know, two or three deep. So I've got a good collection and we'll talk about that more as we move along. And, you know, you'll see, you'll know what my taste probably profile is and kind of what I do and don't like. We'll talk about all of that stuff. Um, but I want to be, I just want it to be real. I want it to, I want you to be able to relate with guy, person sitting in their house drinking bourbon and then you know the great thing about bourbon that we love is that it takes so long in the barrel to become bourbon you know even just to become drinkable it takes you know it, to be what we consider bourbon it's at least two years but really we think four years plus kind of to get to that official bourbon level and then so many of the things we love are eight ten twelve fifty whatever right so um, to, the, the, the joy of it is that time in the barrel and that, and that uh, you know, how ever, the age and the time affect everything differently. And, of course, the terroir and the climate and all that. But that, what that makes for is it makes for sipping a sipping beverage. It's not a chugging beverage. And that means it's really nice to take, take time with it. It took time to make. It's nice to take time with it. And... To share it with people is the is the is the best form of, of enjoying bourbon. I think um, I love doing my own thing. I love doing my scores. I've done a lot of them, but it's but you know. And then you go, okay, well then you just yeah, share it with people. Well, but I'm an introvert, so by nature, so I I don't just have people over all the time. I like to have my own space. So this is something I can control. But but I was like, you know what would be great is 
and dynamic, and that's something I don't that doesn't exist really. I don't think. Now again, I haven't watched every channel, so don't comment to me and say blobbity bloop does that because that's great. I love it. There's no one. There's no original ideas. There's not like I'm coming up with some. I'm not trying to reinvent the atom here. Like I'm just doing something that sounds right for me and and, and works for my personality. But I want to have my friends over. You know, so my first guest is going to be Justin. Uh, because he's the one who said I should do this. And I was like, well, that's stupid. Why would I do that? Now I'm doing it. So Justin will be here because he's, he's like me. He's just a dude that likes to twirl and swirl and, and drink bourbon and spend too much money on it and get in trouble with his wife. And so um, so he's going to be the first one. And there's not going to be a format. It's, it's I think, um, uh, it's not an interview. I'm not interviewing Justin per se, but we're going to be talking about bourbon. We're going to talk, but I am going to be conscious with each person to talk about how they got into bourbon. Why do they like bourbon? Um, some of their highlights, low lights, what are they into? You know, some of the stuff I want everyone to hear everyone else's, these different people's perspectives. So it's not just mine every time. And that also may, means I don't have to write anything, script anything. And um, I've got a format set up that really works for my personality, which is a procrastinator and uh, probably inherently lazy. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. So if I, I think I started that whole ramble, again, I ramble, by saying that, you know, my, my, my agenda is not to be a pro. My agenda is not to be the slickest. My agenda is not to um, uh, have six videos a week and, and shorts and reels and things and stuff. And, 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 and who the heck knows? You know, it's just one of those things that I want to just kind of jump off the cliff with you guys and throw stuff into the world and see what happens. And we know how this stuff goes. Sometimes things change from what we think we're going to be doing, you know. So maybe I'm not always in my kitchen yeah, recording. Maybe I, I do more than one a week or one a month or whatever. Like right now, I'm, I'm thinking like one or two a month. That's, that's my goal, you know. Um, and then if I can get to a place where I got a few of you that are that are into this and following me, then then we'll do lives. So that's another component of the channel that's really unique, um, for, I think, for me, is that um, it's really going to be patri patron uh, focused, right? So if, if anyone ever decides that they want to contribute and help support what we're doing, well, that obviously makes you a patron. You're in that Patreon family, and everyone's got their different things they give for that or don't give for that. But mine for absolutely is, I mean, we're going to figure it out as we go and we're going to figure it out together because I want this to be a community. Um, but there's access there. You know, if you send me a flight or whatever, like you're going to be here sitting next to me doing the doing the, the flight or or you're going to be on the computer, you know, on video, uh, you know, split screen doing it from your home or whatever. Um, whatever that whatever you want to do as far as that goes so if you're contributing to this channel whether it's financially or booze or whatever like that's gonna i'm gonna i want to tie everyone in so i'm gonna bring a guest but then also people who are enjoying this will will start to contribute more and more and more as well so every single thing every video or a live should be a very dynamic um event uh where all of us dummies can kind of gather in a spot and just sort of ramble and, and spout off our, our opinions uh, in a safe space and, and not get skewered for not knowing enough, not get skewered for having, for liking uh, whatever, right? For thinking Blanton's is, is, your, is your absolute top dog, because that probably is for many and some people are still searching for it, right? So to get, to, to get those, those bourbon snobs that, that, that tell you, well, it's not really that good. Well, hey man, if it's good for you, it's great, right? So I want this to be a safe, dynamic, fun, interactive experience. So it will evolve. You will learn a lot about me through um, different episodes and conversations because that's just, I mean, I'm an open book, so things will come out. I don't need to give it all to you on the upfront. Um, this is a test video that I'm already 13 minutes in. So um, telling me, you know, will this ever be seen by anybody? Yeah, this, this would be the video maybe the first one just to be ridiculous and really bore people or maybe the dream would be you get enough traction that at some point people are like when you see that's the, the, the first dumb thing you did you know we can all laugh at it together um so i'm just talking through things right now kind of rambling and, and of course i'm the type of person i want to cover it all so um i'll try not to 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 do that right now but as Dogs losing their mind out the window there. So I've got, we're in the neighborhood. 
I've got two backyard chickens and a 21-year-old cat. The 21-year-old cat's on the couch right now, Cheetah. Uh, so she, every once in a while, will jump up and yowl. So that's, again, that's just the beauty of not having a studio set up or a controlled environment is that it's going to be what you guys deal with and you're trying to drink your, your bourbons and stuff. I've got background music going because music's an important part to me, and I'm usually listening to it when I'm, when I'm doing a blind or uh, drinking. Um, and each guest, each time they're on here, will kind of help dictate what kind of music's in the background. Now that's going to be a trick, right? This is not this is not being piped in. This is not being added over as a layer. This is actually in my house. So what's loud enough that you can get a little bit of background noise when it's needed, and what's not, you know, so loud that it distracts me because again, I have ADHD. So Matt Porter. Um, so like right now, I feel like it's a little a little low as I start talking, and I'm getting focused, so like I can get it a little bit louder. But what's the general for? So what what will my channel be and not be? Um, we talked about how it's going to be people coming on here and, and bringing bring in their own insights and their own experiences. Um, I don't think I'll ever just be boom, bottle, boom, review, here's what I think. Again, I, who the heck knows, right? So, you know, if, if I ever had enough people thinking that I – thinking they liked my opinion, you know, absolutely. If I can't – I could see that as a thing happening like – you know, I was at my, my my local liquor store that I will – Bubbles, by the way, uh, here in Kansas City. That that's, that that's one of my tips. Find one that you love and just be there. And that's how you get stuff because you're the good customer that supports and is loyal, right? So I was looking for the old C923 uh, today um, because everyone else is looking for it. But, like, if I came up with if, – if, if they would have had that today, I would have probably gone, let's, let's just shoot this. Let me just – let her, let's just open this together, right? Like, so that would be maybe a solo, a quick solo video where I'm just like, I just got this great bottle. I'm just going to go d through this with you and give you my quick thoughts, first impressions. And that's kind of a standalone thing that I'm not really planning for, but that could happen. But what my jam is, is I love blinds because that is the great equalizer. You know, like it, you take away... Uh, you know, price tag and label and, and bias because it happens. If you're swirling and twirling a George T. Stag that you paid $800 for, you're going to give it a different weight. Now, sometimes you might ding it more because you've like, I paid this much for this, but typically you're like, this is supposed to be the best. I paid for it. I know I've got one up there. Um, so I like to strip that away. But when I do the blinds myself or when other people do blinds, usually we know, you know, we kind of know what's in the blinds. Um, that's a foreshadowing for what we're doing tonight with Blind Barrel. But what I want to happen is my guest will be bringing a sample or two of something they really like, and then I will twirl and swirl with them, you know, um, that that sample because it's blind to me and I don't know what that is and I love that and I'm willing to look stupid and because again I'm, it's dummies right it's drams for dummies I'm, I'm going to say it over and over again it's aptly titled I am the dummy. People are going to bring me stuff. I'm going to say stupid stuff just like you all would if you were drinking stuff and because you're not a, the, the world's top whiskey uh, ch t uh, tasting champion. Uh, shout out to Matt. Swirl and twirl, Matt, right? I, there's going to be things that I, that I, you know, there's going to be a lot of Matt Porter that probably comes out of this just because of the influence. So sorry, Matt. I, I hate to sully your name um, and image, but uh, – Lost my train of thought there for a second. So, oh, there's a fly. I got the fly swatter because I he, I couldn't find him earlier. But if he comes back, I again the ADHD. I can't I can't have that guy flying around. So he's going to die in a second. But anyway, um, so I love the idea of someone bringing me something that they really like that I don't know what it is, and then we get to talk about it together. And then then my idea is. That they've either brought in a second, brought a second sample. Maybe we drink them both, and then once I know what it is, and you know proof and type and all that kind of stuff, then I'm going to go over to my literally go to what I own, right? And I'm going to pour a blind of three or four using the one or two that they brought, plus one or two that I add. Um, and now we're going to blind these together because there's one or two I don't know very well. Maybe, maybe one I haven't even had yet because he brought a second one or whatever. Um, and then they don't know what I've poured in these other two glasses. And now we're going to both do a blind flight together and kind of talk and rank and stuff. And I think that's interesting because 
it's just fun. First of all, it's dynamic. We, no one knows what we're doing. No one knows what's in the glasses for the most part. Um, but I think in doing blinds, you learn a lot about your palate and you learn a lot about yourself. So, so Justin brings over something he really likes, and then you maybe, and then you know, but then in the blind, maybe it gets third. Not because he doesn't like it as much, but just it doesn't stand up the way he thought it did. Then he then it tells him, man, I need to really think about. I need to go after these the ones that that beat it. There's also a weird science in the bourbon tasting that's when you drink something by itself and you just sip on it by itself, it can be the best thing in the world. And all of a sudden you put it in a blind and it it the flavor of this one and this one and this one kind of affect this one and, and, the, and this nose does too. So there's some things that I do to kind of help offset that. But that is a thing where I drink something, I had bomb burgers, let's say, for, uh, recently. And by itself, it was one of the best things. I just thought it was great. But when I blinded it, and, and I can tell you about that blind some other time, that's really interesting. It was $30 bottles up to $160 bottles. It was four of them, and but right in the same proof and age range. And Old Granddad 114 won the flight at $30. So that's not saying that Bomb Burgers isn't really, you know, if you just sip them both separately, would they would that work that way? I don't know, but that's the way it worked that, that time. And so I feel like it, it just, it's an equalizer and it just really enlightens people. And I think the, the takeaway for me is always, always like it, nothing's worth the chase, right? Nothing's worth paying those secondary prices for, unless you just know you love it and you can't find it. Like if I, you know, Koi Hill, I've got one up there right now and it's down to like this. And I mean, I don't know if I, I don't think I'll pay, I would never pay with their, but it's getting right now on secondary, but but that's just the best bottle I've ever had. It's just it's just far and away. It's just so unique and so different that you're almost like, I kind of feel like I might have to splurge if I had splurge money. Rambling, blinds, that's going to be the thing. Uh, that's a lot of talking, man. And here's another thing. You talk about the first drink of the day. Um, I, I typically go swig on my um, Evan Williams. I just take a swig of the Evan Williams Black. That's my that's my bourbon and Coke bourbon. Uh it has been for ever, and uh, so I'll take a drink of that just so I can get that first drink out of the way. Because <clears throat> especially if you're drinking anything high proof, the first drink will be brutal um, if you if you don't haven't kind of gotten yourself acclimated. So again, you, you I, I'm not gonna I'm just gonna tell you what I'm doing, and you can be like, yeah, I know what you're doing, you dumb dumb, um, and not be, anyway. Take it for what it is. Um, excuse me. Burpy burps. I'm on an empty stomach too, so <clears throat> so probably low blood sugared, and these are gonna probably hit fast. So we're 32 minutes in before I smell my first whiskey of the day, and on this video, and uh, the way we're going, probably be an hour and a half in before we finish it, and I'll probably just be, as Matt would say, schnockered by that point. So. So you're swirling and twirling here. This is a you're using a Glen Cairn glass, right? Of some sort of a whiskey glass. Um, for it's just so important. You cannot. I don't. I don't think. I'll, okay, it's my channel. I'll see what I want. I'll say you can't and never and always. I, I understand that there's people all do it different. So don't don't skewer me. But a big rocks glass. You can't. It's, you can't get the motion in there. You're not getting enough uh, concentration of liquid to to really. It's just too dispersed, and it's just too much area in there. So this is nice. It gets it all in that little bottom area where it can kind of, you know, gather. But then you, when you swirl it like this, one, you're getting a little bit of heat on it from your fingers, which is nice. You're letting it get air, a lot of air in there, which is really waking it up. Um, you know, so it's nice to get that air activating it. The longer a good a good whiskey. I feel like the longer it sits out, the better. Like, I mean, I've forgotten about things for an hour, just kind of sitting on, you know, by the couch, and you come back, you're like, oh, so smooth, you know? So the closer to room temperature and even a little on the warm side and the more oxygen it has, this is going to be the longest swirl I have because I'm talking through it. Um, but then the reason, again, for the glasses, then it flutes, right? So it kind of pushes the smells into your nose. It's a, so it's a, it's a nosing glass. It's a nosing and tasting glass. So it's good to have these, and they look awesome. So... Again, someday we'll have uh, drams for dummy glasses. So, all right, I got to get serious. I've never really been had people watching me do this. Well, except for my wife. So she's back there on the on the narcissist. Well, okay, side side note before I drink, and you're like, what the hell, man? Drink the freaking whiskey. 
So another re kind of fun reason to film it like this is that is what we call our narcissist wall because it's just a bunch of pictures of my wife and I. Uh, and they're fun and they're silly. And you're like, well, who puts this up? Narcissists. Narcissists put this up. People who think we're really neat. We love ourselves. We love our relationship. And we want everyone to see it. But again, we don't really have anybody over. So it's just for us, which is cute and really weird and probably probably says something bad about us. But what's more narcissistic than making a, a bourbon YouTube channel or any YouTube channel, right? Or doing a podcast. Like, to think that anyone gives a crap what I, what I think or say... That's narcissistic. So, luckily, I'm I'm coming in figuring that no one gives a crap. So, I'm whatever. I'm not that narcissistic. Okay. So, did you make it through part one? <laughs> did you make it to the end of this? If you're still here, God bless you. Chink. Cheers to you. Uh, you at this point should just subscribe because you've shown that you you get what's going on here or for some reason you're just bored enough to, to want another whiskey channel in your life. Let it roll on to, or click on one of these links somewhere, wherever the links are going to live, to part two to watch me take an enormously long amount of time to uh, actually drink something. Cheers, guys. Thanks so much for joining this uh, adventure.